Why are you still awake? <sighs> hey. Are you hungry? Why is there still the smell of the chicken soup in the room right now? I should have probably asked for more of that. Hey, you know what Apo said about me earlier today? She said I'm very smart and very talented. I can learn things quickly. I'll be someone who does well in both my business and in the kitchen. I can also sew. She said somebody very lucky is going to marry me someday. <laughs> hey, if it were you, would you marry me? <sighs> hey, are you asleep? And if you're really asleep, I'll get started. Ooh. Oh my god, where is this? Sorry, I'm sorry. I touched the wrong place. I meant to touch your hand. Okay, one more time. Yeah. Yeah, got it. Yeah. Xiao Chong? Jesus, you're really a heavy sleeper. I don't know how you could fall asleep through all of this. Wow, your skin looks really good. It's so smooth and soft. Hey, if you're having a dream now, I wonder what you're dreaming about. All right, mission accomplished. Good night. Suddenly, I was touched by this boy next to me. We met late on the road of our lives. But it's still not too late. There's still time. There's still many, many bright things to come.
wait. What are you doing? I just gave you a gift. You don't have to do this. I didn't mean you're a cockroach. What I mean is... That is what your name means, though, but it also means... Xiaoqiang. Don't do this. This isn't the right place. People are gonna gossip. Just like the Virgin Mary to me right now. Good night. Oh my god. Hey. Hello. The chicken soup is ready. <laughs> Oh, your chicken soup is simply amazing. Really? Even with the lid on, I can still smell how good the chicken is. <laughs> oh, you. <laughs> and the doctor said if the result of the test turns out normal today, she can leave the hospital and come home. Really? Yeah. That's great news. I'll be right here waiting for you to come back. All right, I'm going to go then. <laughs> okay. <laughs> Homemade chicken soup, love delivery. We released Xiaoxiang this morning. Huh? Doesn't she need more tests? She had the tests. She's fine now. Why? She didn't tell you? Excuse me. <laughs> Jiaming. Dr. Feng said I could go home. I decided to go back to my dad's. You can stay at my place for now, since you don't have anywhere else to stay. I left the keys with Granny. Thanks for your care and everything you've done for me. You make me feel so happy when you're around. Write me a pregnancy certificate. No. May, please. You must be a little confused. I did go to medical school, but I majored in medical identification, like paternity tests and that kind of thing. If you want a pregnancy certificate, you have to see a maternity doctor. Why would you ask me? Where can I find a maternity doctor? You went to medical school. You must have some schoolmates or friends who work in there. Seriously, please don't ask me to help you forge anything. But if any of your friends want to have an examination, I can help with that. I don't want examinations. Don't just blow me off like this. Why do you need that pregnancy certificate that much? What's wrong? What happened to you? Marriage. The thing is, I got a boyfriend. But his mother, she doesn't like me at all. But this is just way too crazy. Why is it way too crazy? You know my age. If I don't get married now, I'm afraid I won't be able to have any babies. You just need to put in a little more effort. Constant dripping wears away the stone. Especially with older people. You should try to be more humble. Process is nothing. The result is the most important thing. What you really have in hand in the future is the real result. Whee! Where are you going? Are you still hiding from me? 
You think if you wear this, I won't recognize you? You're the only one in the world who can do that stupid dance. What? Come on. I know you're hungry. Eat it. Too weak to open it? <clears throat> Here. Why didn't you just buy a hamburger? Eat, Eat it or not? Slow down. Take it easy. Water! Here. <laughs> Physical exam? Hmm. I'm not going. I've never had one in my life, and I'm still alive and well. Nanxin arranges is just for you, okay? I think she said it's called a thorough medical examination. No way. Some of those old guys do morning exercise with, they go. They get these exams, and then they start taking this medicine and that medicine. It's like they want a disease. You have to trust science, Mom. Think of it like this. Treat it if you're sick. Prevent it if you're healthy. Hmm. <sighs> Mrs. Gao, here's the thing. I have a good friend, May. Her friend's hospital just introduced this new set of thorough exams for people that are middle-aged or elderly. They all say that once you turn 55, it's good to have a thorough exam. It's just a check. No, thanks. Hey, give me a cookie. Ah, oh, let me. Mrs. Gao. Actually, if you really don't want to go, Guan Yao and I won't force you. But you know, we both just want you to be healthy. I'm very healthy, okay? All right, all right. And don't worry about it. You had this photo enlarged, didn't you? <laughs> Just look at you. You were so cute when you were little. Like a boy, <laughs> kind of stupid. <laughs> Xiao Chang, you're going to be a mother. How do you feel? I'm not telling you. You... You can't be like you were before. That's stubborn and impulsive. Things have to be different. Mr. Yu wants to give us a lesson. <laughs> Please. I'm being serious. All right. Jiang Ming gave me a call earlier today. He said he wants to come see you tomorrow. What did you tell him? I said I have to ask for your permission. If you don't agree, why would I let him come? The thing is... He doesn't have a place to live now. For one thing, I came back to visit you. For another, he can stay at my place. <laughs> what? <laughs> Why are you laughing? <laughs> What's going on? What's so funny? Nothing. Really, it's nothing. There must be a reason. Tell me. All right, all right. I'm laughing because I didn't expect that my daughter be so attractive to young boys. <laughs> but it doesn't mean you have to laugh like that. All right. I'll stop. <laughs> hey, Dad. Now that I think about it, Bao Jiaming looks a lot like you when he's laughing. Really? <laughs> Both of you, your eyes look all squinty. Really? Don't laugh. Don't all laugh. Right. I'll stop. <laughs> and, uh, and now, being serious, do you think we should let him come tomorrow or not? It's kind of a problem. I need to think about it. Why is it even a problem? Just let him come or not. What's the point of thinking about it? Then we should tell him not to come. All right, then. I'll tell him that you said you don't want him to come. Don't say that. Then what should I say? Just tell him that you don't want him to come. Why would I say that? I do want him to come. Just tell him like that. That's not what I think. Why should I... Why should I say that? Well, what would happen if you said that? Can't you just say that for your daughter? I, I, I All right, agree. fine. Just Listen. tell him I don't want him to come. Okay, okay. I'm going to co call him then. Come back. Make sure you break it to him gently. I know what I should tell him. Come back! Practice what you're going to say on me. <laughs> <clears throat> 
Mr. Bao Jiaming. Ms. Yu Xiaoqiang said she doesn't want you to come see us. <laughs> Is that okay? <laughs> <sighs> okay, okay. I'll tell him that. But if he still wants to come, I don't think I can stop him. <laughs> <laughs> Bao Jiaming, don't you come here. Jiaming, move in with me. I found a bigger place. You know, I feel so lonely living there by myself. Besides, people say that good friends will still be together in the end, no matter what they go through. How's that? Move in with me. You laughed at me, right? Come on, why would I ever laugh at you? Come on, come on, come on. Let's drink. Let's drink how? Lover style. <laughs> come on. Come on, come on. I'll go first. What a waste you don't work as a you-know-what. Oh, come on. Just drink. Mr. Shone, listen. Why the hell would I move in with you when you're acting like this? Just move in with me! Drink it, okay? I'll take that as a yes. Ah, I feel like my life, my world, is bathed with sunshine! My spring has come! <laughs> Uh, so, you know what? This bar has seen a lot. It has a lot of stories. Yourself? Hey, Mr. Yu. Oh. Okay, I got it. Yeah. Thank you. Bye, Mr. Yu. Whoa. Whoa, hey, hey. What's going on? Hey, can you do me a favor? <laughs> Not just a favor. I could do you ten favors, a hundred favors. I owe you that. <laughs> Soup's coming. Here, give it a try. It's really fresh. The fish soup you make always tastes the same. Nothing in this world compares to it. <laughs> Once the baby comes, I'll make it for you every day. It'll make you milk go gush, gush, gush. I'm not a faucet. What do you mean, gush, gush, gush? We have gas. <laughs> Look who's here. <laughs> Come in. <laughs> <laughs> Hello, everyone. Actually, I have a business meeting in Chongming, so I'm coming to visit my old friend with our vice president, uh, Mr. Bao. Yeah, Xiong happens to have some business here, so I just came along with him. I hope we're not interrupting you. You are. We are? Then I guess we'll be leaving. Why are you still here, then? Leaving? To where? You're not going anywhere. Sit down, sit down. Come on. <laughs> Let me introduce you, everybody. Uh... This is my sister. You just call her Gu Ma, like Xiao Chang does, okay? <laughs> these are guests. Who are these guys? You guys introduce yourselves. Introduce yourselves. <laughs> uh, hello, Gu Ma. I'm Xiong. <laughs> hello, Gu Ma. I'm Bao Jiaming. Who? Bao Jiaming. Oh, so you're Bao Jiaming. You know who I am? 
My brother, I heard him tell Xiao Qiang that he told you on the phone not to come. He told you not to come. Why are you still here? Uh, wait, wait. It's my fault. It's my fault. Uh, Xiao Qiang, we haven't told you that Zhao Ming has come back to work in our computer company, and I happen to have a business meeting in Chongming. Right, Zhao Ming? Don't ask me. I came here because I had no other choice. Oh, so you came because you had no other choice. Oh, come on. It doesn't matter. <laughs> Let's have lunch together. Uh, go, go and get two sets of chopsticks and two bowls. I'll go cook. Two more dishes for you. <laughs> Mr. Yu, it's all right. We brought food. These are all Xiao Chang's favorites. This is a KFC bucket. I told her not to eat too much junk food, but she loves it. <laughs> oh, and we have French fries, cooked food, and we brought some mooncakes. Yeah, Xiao Ming got in line to get it early this morning. It took us a while to get here. The food got cold. Maybe we should heat it up? Huh. How am I supposed to heat up cold food? Guma, do you know how to heat up cold food? No, I don't. I want to eat all of it. Huh? Xiao Xiang, what did you just say? I want to eat all of it. You got a problem with that? None at all, none at all! <laughs> and you? Yes. <laughs> Then what will I eat? <laughs> Mrs. Go! Huh? Hey! <laughs> what are you girls doing here? <laughs> we were at the community service center. They're offering free physical exams. Uh. They can test blood pressure and they have an ECG. Who wants to do it in the hospital? So many procedures. Hey, Mrs. Gao, we were just there getting it done. You should go too, it's really good. Uh, I don't need it, Mip. Listen to me, at our age, we should get examined at least once a year. My son just took me to the hospital for an exam a few days ago. Hmm? Mrs. Gao's son though? He's too busy for her. Mrs. Gao, if everything's all right, we'll be leaving then. Bye-bye. <laughs> Bye. 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 Ah, my son did arrange a thorough examination for me. Package deal. Really? That's great. You really have a good son. <laughs> Bao Jiaming, is he in love with Xiao Qiang? <laughs> Ma'am, what is love? Huh? Height is not a gap. Distance is not an obstruction. Also, age is not a problem. <laughs> Height is absolutely a gap. Distance is an obstruction. Age is definitely a problem. Guma. Huh. What does Bao Jiaming have? A career? Not likely. A house then? Nothing of the sort. But Guma, his family is rich. It's just that he doesn't tell people about it. But I can tell you for sure that they have money, really. I'm telling you. Liu Guang Yao, so he has money. Is that right? Like money helps with anything. The important thing is he should treat her well. He needs to do right by Xiao Qiang. Xiao Qiang just went through a divorce once already. As her aunt, I cannot let her go through that again. Hey, listen. Zhao Ming has practically thrown himself at her feet. He'll be very good to Xiao Qiang. <laughs> how old is he, and how old is Xiao Qiang? If Xiao Qiang is with him, she's the one who will have to suffer for it. Guma, you know if their ages weren't six years apart, she wouldn't be an older woman. Six is bad. It's unlucky. Look, that's an old saying. We have new sayings now. Let me show you something on Weibo. Huh? huh? Here it is. This is on older women. One year you wear Prada, two years making progress, three years she's a gold All right, brick. all right. Three is the most I can deal with right now. Well, wait, look, it gets even better in the last half. Four years, good surprises. Five years, Uncle Scrooge like. Six years, you're eating meat. Excuse me? Six is eating meat? The question is, who eats it? Is it Xiao Qiang eating the meat, or is it Bao Jiaming eating the meat? Obviously, it's Xiao Qiang eating the meat. Look, they have even more. Seven's the perfect wife. Eight, everything is great. Nine is a life of love. All right, all right, all right. I didn't expect that you'd really find an excuse. <laughs> it was just kind of spur of the moment. I was worried about Xiao Chang, so I had to come see her. <laughs> Mr. Yu, you don't hate me for this, right? What are you talking about? Can't you see that I kind of like you? Really? 
<laughs> I know that because of Xiao Jiang, you ruined Guang Yao's presentation. Xiao Jiang told you about that? I don't really agree with it. But a man who dares to love and hate is a real man. It still makes me angry. What did she do that was so wrong? Why did she have to leave with no money? Why'd she have to suffer? It was Liu Guangye who had the affair. It was his fault. Why'd they all blame everything on Xiao Chong? How could they do that to her? If everyone in society all confounded right and wrong like he does, who could I trust? Right, Mr. Yu? Yes. I'm not afraid to stand up to him. Good. <laughs> Mr. Yu, what else did Xiao Chong say about me? She didn't say anything else. Really? That's it? That's about it. <laughs> I'm not stupid. I think you're kind of in love with Xiao Chang. <laughs> Very much, actually. <laughs> but look, Jia Ming. She's going to have a baby soon. Does she really have the energy to think about other things? Mr. Yu, I'm not trying to distract her. All I really want is to take care of her, to make her happy every day. I'll make sure she has a healthy baby. Okay. But if I can be honest, no matter what happens in the future, I'll be thankful to you for taking care of Xiao Chiang, for being considerate of her and helping her. Mr. Yu, don't thank me for that. She deserves it. I told you before, there's nothing you should or shouldn't do. Only what you're, you're willing, willing or not, not willing, willing to, to do. do. <laughs> <laughs> I'm willing. When a father like me gets to be my age, he can only give his daughter less and less happiness. But you're different. You can still give her a lot of happiness. Mr. Yu, thank you for trusting in me. I won't give Xiao Chang any trouble. I've already moved in with Xiong. I don't have much money now, but if one day I can be with her, I promise I'll treat her well. I'll treat her the way she deserves. Thank you. Thank you, Jiaming. You're the first man who has told me to my face that he will treat my daughter right. <laughs> <laughs> Mr. Yu, I should thank you too for giving me permission to treat your daughter right. <laughs> Good, good. <laughs> I didn't expect it. He just grabbed me and gave me a gigantic hug. <laughs> and he promised me he would treat you right. <laughs> Look, this Zhao Ming's a good guy, huh? He's nice and he's kind. He'll treat you right. My God. All it took was a hug and now he's nice? The point is, is that he's considerate. He told me that he moved into Xiong's place. Now, compared to him, you're kind of stingy, right? <laughs> you came here and told me you wanted to visit me. Actually, you wanted to give him a place to stay. But in the end, he's still more considerate than you are. He doesn't want to give you any trouble. Huh? He told me honestly that he likes you. And I can tell that you like him too. Otherwise, why else would you be so considerate of each other? <laughs> hey, 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 you're pretty good at analyzing things. I didn't think he would be so considerate. Keep going. Still the same old, same old. Xiao Chang, it's time to let go of everything that happened in the past, okay? Huh? Mr. Yu... I will remember all your sincere words and earnest wishes. Thank you. Can't you be serious for a minute? <laughs> what I want for you is to give me a promise. Don't worry, Dad. I promise I'll take care of myself. Bao Xiaoming, listen to me carefully. If your love for Yu Xiaochang isn't real, don't bother wasting your time chasing her. Xiao Chang isn't going to play any games with you. It's true. It's true love. Now that's what I wanted to hear. Actually, it's better when the woman is older than the man. 
Mm. Men mature late. Yay. Women mature early, isn't that right? Uh, yeah, yeah. Then if we put these two together, they may just make a perfect couple. If you're ever lucky enough to live with a woman that's older than you, first, she already knows how to love you, to take care of you. Second, she won't waste your money. And third, an older woman has probably experienced some hardships in her life, some struggles from before, so she knows how to cherish everything. Fang Fang, really, I believe that with your help, I will get Yu Xiaocheng one day. Thank you so much. Is this the Maternal Rescue Center? This is your service representative. How can I help you, miss? Madam? Oh, madam? My family name is Yu. My name's Yu Xiaotiang. I want to say that your rescue center is really considerate. I feel so taken care of. Mrs. Gao, take a look at this. I got these just for you. A cosmetology tour in Switzerland. Switzerland? Yeah. When I took you to get your physical exam, all the tests showed that you're in very good health. So you can work on this. Oh. Get beauty treatment? Mm. For wrinkles? Mm-hmm. So what you're telling me is that my face makes me look really old? No, 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 no. That's not what I mean at all, Mrs. Go. <laughs> Actually, compared to all your friends, you look much younger. <laughs> you don't necessarily have to get the beauty treatments if you go. You can go see the mountains and lakes and just spend time relaxing. Doesn't that sound better than watching the trees outside from a big house all alone? <laughs> I see what you mean. But if an old woman like me goes to Switzerland with a group of people... When everyone goes to get their beauty treatments, should I just sit in the hotel and stare at the wall? I don't think so. I'll go with you. Shin gave me this today. Did you know that? What's this about? Switzerland beauty tour. It costs 150 grand. Did you pay for it? I don't have money. Ever since the divorce, you've been in charge of my money, right? Your company paid for it. That's even less likely. Embezzle company funds. The account would kill me. So she paid. She has that much money? She is a pretty famous designer in the industry. I'm sure she could afford to pay for it. <sighs> uh, darling, huh? I'm not going. The physical exam was only 5,000 kwai, but this is 150,000. If I were to go, wouldn't that mean I agreed to your relationship? She said she's going with me. Staying with me 24-7 would be so awkward. Besides... If she buys this for me, then I'm in her pocket. Hey, you're thinking too much. It's just a holiday. Mm. You can see Switzerland and enjoy a spa. It's a good deal. Right? Mm. 
All right, all right. No matter what, thank her for me. Okay. <laughs> hey, you, Xiao Chang. Mm hmm. Did you eat that entire duck? I was hungry. This time at home, I stretched my stomach out. But how on earth can you eat so much duck? Mm. I'm pretty good at taking care of you, huh? Mm. I bought you eight treasured duck, and I made you my mushroom soup, and now I'm putting your cup back together for you. How much are you going to pay me? Maybe I should ask Lan Xin for that. She's the one who smashed your cup into pieces. Is it done? Almost finished. Let me see. Hmm. Wait a minute, wait a minute. It doesn't look glued here. Wait, what's wrong? I think I glued my hand to it. You're lying. You think so? Okay, don't move. Oh, 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 oh. Oh, skin's coming off. <gasps> what should we do? What's the deal? Why is this glue so strong? Where did you buy it from? I bought it from a stall. How much? Too quiet. Why did you buy such cheap glue? How was I supposed to know how strong this cheap glue would be? What should we do? I'll get... Use some water? Hot water. Soak it in water. I know that. Don't use hot water. If the water can melt the glue, the cup will be in pieces again. All the work will be wasted. And then what should we do? Well, let's do this then. Uh, it's the best I can do. You can't drink out of it now. If you put water in it, it'll leak in every direction. This cup, you shouldn't drink out of it anyway. It's to remember your mom with, right? There's a few pieces missing, and the handle can't be fixed, but your your name's on it. Alright? I've done all that I can for it. Mission accomplished. Here you go. <laughs> you shall tell. Huh? Are you making fun of me? No, I'm not. I don't want to take a look at it if it's that ugly. From what you've told me, your wife probably has some postpartum depression. Depression? Yeah. You should have brought her here with you. But with the way she's acting right now, I don't think she'd go anywhere with me. But I can't diagnose her unless I see her. Dr. Fung, I have another idea. Teach me some methods for how to take care of someone with pregnancy depression. Like, say, what to do when she cries. I'm so worried now. I can tell you really love her. I do like her a lot, but I've never told her that I love her. <laughs> You're really a funny couple, you know that? All right, I'll teach you. <laughs> Thank you, doctor. Everything in the supermarket is expensive. No wonder no one's here. Let's get out of here. I want to buy cheap stuff. I should buy everything online. Actually, there's a cheaper way than shopping online. And what's that? I was planning to go and buy a crib for the baby, but then your dad called me. He told me he wanted to make one for you by himself. Man, you really have this tradition in your family of doing everything you can to save money. <laughs> I guess you didn't know that my dad used to build furniture, but that was 30 years ago. He can't even see things clearly now. What if the bed he makes collapsed while my son's sleeping in it? <laughs> what? My mom told me, if you ever say something sinister, you have to spit it out. Hurry up. But I don't want to spit in public. But this is about your baby's safety. <laughs> Fine, then. Actually, I can totally understand your dad. Having a grandson all of a sudden is, you know, that must make somebody his age so happy. I know he's really excited about it. Just let him do something that makes him feel like he's involved, all right? Besides, even if you're not comfortable with the baby sleeping in the bed, I'm here too, aren't I? I can sleep in it. Are you a baby? Can you sleep in a bed so small? Look, 
I can fit in here. I bet this is smaller than the baby's bed will be, right? Go, let's go, let's go, 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 go. Stop, stop, stop. Uncomfortable, right? It isn't comfortable. She. 